Man, this uh, the camera is having a hard time today with my. I need to go. I don't I need to go to the to the tanning salon or something. Cause it is picking me up my forehead like it was a green screen. I have a you know a sickly complexion. <laughs> Uh, but the real reason uh, why we're streaming is because I got, well, I want to paint this guy, but also, also because I got a new airbrush, and I wanted to talk about that a lot, because that makes a good video, it's one of the most uh, requested things, or one of the questions that come that come up the most is about these, uh, these cheap airbrushes, you know, the, they have like a lot of like, yeah, borderline racist name i think you know like chinesium or el cheapo or you know like they have all they're basically unbranded airbrush or they're or knockoffs of, of various brands whatever whatever you want to call them that they're very cheap they're usually between 20 and 40 ish dollars uh regardless and i kind of like them uh, if you buy like the compre the compressor and airbrush sets uh that's usually what comes with it and uh yeah, I've been painting with those for for a while. I like them. I think they're good for a lot of things. Um, and I I just got a new one because well let's yeah let's talk about that. Why did I get this one? I you know we've been using this uh, fancy schmancy sotar here on the on the stream for a while, uh, but uh, because that's kind of my 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 last good airbrush I guess I would say. But um, really, uh, we, we were trying to paint. Uh, so I'm, I have a commission. I have one one standing commission one pending commission and so we're doing the uh the corn army right so we're doing the, the corn army you know, and then we were like base coating brown like our lives depended on it and uh this guy here is very not practical because the cup is so small so uh i was like you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dignify this army um i'm not gonna dignify base coating brown on like almost a hundred models I guess uh, with this thing because the cup is so small I'm just gonna buy another airbrush and we're gonna finish the corn army the right way you know done proper and then uh, and then we'll see uh, so let, well, let's open it up you know and just do the, the proper unboxing but so what, what does it mean like unbranded because these things all have brands but they're all sort of the same right so this this guy here you see the the on the box here it says cyber nova professional something something paint art um they all have, have, have brands but they're like always something random right that there's a uh, masters is a good one timber tech is another one uh global is another one a best is another one like there's a, a bunch of them but they're all roughly the same usually like I'm guessing, like uh, more than half of them are made in the exact same factory, and because they, they come in the unbranded box and they just like stick a a label here. Uh, that way. Yeah, you see. So basically, what that means is, if if I wanted to make like Alefire hairbrushes, I could just contact this manufacturer and then just have him like slap on like a, just a little uh like almost like a sticker on this on the on the back here and it would be a hellfire airbrush basically because there's really nothing in there maybe maybe in the instructions let's dig deeper uh, so you see even the instructions See, like no, literally no brand. So whatever you buy it from, like the the manufacturer, like the factory, they don't sell these on Amazon, but they manufacture these for like a bunch of companies, and then they can. Some of them they will just add it like a sticker on the box, or some of them will have like a a name on there. But for the most part, uh, they're always the same. This this one is interesting. I've never had one exactly like this. I'll talk about that in a second. So I've had a bunch of these before. I can show you guys. I picked out a couple here from my big box of random airbrush. Uh, like this, this is the A best one that I was talking earlier about, and then you got these ones, and this one. This one here came from a set. You can see it's still it's a, a point three. It says so on the on the box here, and this one's missing pieces obviously. And then same thing with this one. This one doesn't even have like 
a branding is you know like you, you see it's not the same but could like it could almost be it, it's the exact same parts and everything uh, but this one was called like a timber tech when i bought it and then this one was something else and then this one was just from a uh, some random set uh, so they're all roughly the same this this one's significantly different though he has like a removable cup and that's that's not good that that, that one i bought because it, it was red uh but it, this one this one i don't like the cup but all right it's, it's a changeable one but but so anyway so when, when when you read like unbranded or or something like that uh they're talking about like the, these kind of things some people they call them uh, knockoffs which they're i guess sort of but they're really not so this is a this is a Badger Patriot 105. Lightning change. Yeah, so, so some, some people call these uh, Patriot, like the Patriot knockoff, which, which is it, yes and no. Like, I don't think, that, nobody here thinks that this is like equivalent of a Patriot, but it does similar things. Whereas Patriots come with like a, a 0.35 or a 0.5 needle, and these things are usually 0.3 or 0.35. And they have the bigger cup size. Like if we compare with our our Sotar from earlier, look at look at the look at the size of that thing. So you can fit so much more paint. So that's why uh, that's why I was really interested in this one, um, and that's why I wanted to get this one. Um, now the fun, the interesting part is this is I've never seen this before. Is it this one has a, a completely closed off back piece? Usually it's something like this where you, the needle is kind of like accessible. Or uh, do we have one? Nope. Or, or at least at least some something's open. This is the first time I see one that's like fully closed, almost like a pen. Oh, it's got a needle. So we have like a lot of needles in there. And then this part, I don't like these parts. So we have a ooh, ooh. No interest. It's got a lot. Of, so this this here, there's a screw on there. Oh, so this one has like a lot of interesting little things. That's good. That's why. That's one thing I like. Like they're all roughly the same, but sometimes you get these little things. Like this one's a closed back, and then he's got the little screw to keep this piece here in place. And so the the biggest difference be, between uh well a a, a badger or any. That's a like any real name brand and these things is is the first of all this is like super cheap like it, you can't see but th these are very light versus these ones uh so they were made from like much cheaper aluminum or whatever it is uh, metal that's on there and then the trigger action is like really garbage okay like really bad it's it's just uh something so so uh, getting like a good like the, the 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 up and down mechanism is like straight up and straight down there's no in between sometimes with the badgers this one has no trigger i, I keep pointing there but yeah this, this one here it's like it's very smooth going down this one here is like yes or no so let, well, let's just give this guy a little try here so i don't really need to try it i know I know what it does pretty well because I've, I've had like a bunch of these before. Uh, that was my main thing. I used to buy like two when I did the commission, like full time. I used to buy like two or three of them, and then if one piece broke, I would just like switch whatever that piece was, and then uh, so you, you could get like a, a very very long lasting deal for like sixty dollar. You get the cheaper one when it was on sale, and you buy like three, and it would cost you like sixty bucks, and then. Uh, and then whenever like a piece broke, you just like switch it out, and then they they give you like a bunch of needles and, and nozzles with this, like this one here. This one came in, and then if you if we look here, we got one extra, two extra, two extra, one extra, at least one. So we got a point two in there. It's a point two. You can't see, but it's a point. It says point two. There we go. And then there was another one. I, I, yeah, there it is. And then this one's a point five. So you get a point three, a point two, and a point five for just the one. So if you break something that's not like the trigger, like you're just like good to go. And then you just like switch it up, and then you cycle through them, through them, 
for like more than a year, and you got two nozzles as well for the point two and the point five. So that's that's like that's how I managed to like not buy a single air. And then uh, I got kind of lucky, I guess, because um, I used that to get like kind of started, like get my my commission business. And then I I went to uh, I don't remember which tournament. And then I won uh, a Patriot 105, and then I I won like a, a Patriot Eclipse in another event. So I kind of got like that got me started, but I've never kind of. Uh, forgotten that thing and I, I keep using these because i like them for like simple stuff like they're not great for you know highlighting and fine detail but like if you're doing primer if you're doing varnish if you're doing like base coats you, you don't need like anything fancy you, you you get this and especially like primer like this is like the primer machine right there because you get like the control everything that you do with a primer and, and if you destroy it it's you know it's twenty dollars because primer is going to wreck your airbrush there's no way around it if you know if your primer is not destroying your airbrush it's shit primer let me tell you it's you know it's not like a mad skill that you have is just it just your primer sucks if that's what if that's what you know you're doing with it holy shit balls oh, oh that thing sprays that thing a surprise let me see, let's see if we can uh, if we get like a I'll give you like a size comparison, I guess, or something like that. This is a paint pot, uh, like you know, a good, a good old army painter paint pot. Look at it. And then can we do like a super small one? Let's, let's try to do a, like a super small. So with the point three, you see, this is the smallest gun that we can. Maybe do. Can we get smaller? Nope. This is pretty much. This is as good as you get. And now this is kind of stupid because uh, we changed this airbrush to do large uh, pieces and large armies, and then we're using it to do only one model. But whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, this is not the first stupid thing we do on the stream, folks. Okay. So we're just gonna mix it up here. Next up, so we're gonna highlight everything here with this skeleton brown. And we're just going to do the whole thing. We don't care. Right. So if we look like there, we get like... Yeah, yeah, this is fun. So we get we get like some some interesting color changes. We'll just do that little arm there. So we got some some decent transition color. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with this again. Speed painting, so you know, 